I don't think an A380 can honestly do this in real life, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, okay, we did pull up. We're gonna crash today. We're gonna be flying the Airbus A380 over the flak firing zone. Let's get started. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually the largest passenger transport aircraft, and we're gonna be flying this over the flak firing zone. So how do we get to the cockpit? What in the world floor are we on? I don't know. This thing has multiple floors. All right, so we're gonna go over here, actually start this thing. There's actually not a whole lot of buttons, so this should be pretty easy here. All right, we're gonna be activating climate control for the cabin, flight deck cabin control, seat belts are on. We do have a couple passengers in this thing, actually, so pretty cool. Um, How do we actually, like, start the engines? I don't hear them, like, starting out. Here we go. All right, engines are starting, I think, right? Oh, yeah, there definitely are. They're pretty loud. Fuel cut up for all engines, I think, also. Yep, there we go. Okay, now I think all engines are starting. Perfect. All right, I did get that thing start. Wait, um, exhaust is not coming out of three and four. Um, I think that's actually normal just because there's probably... Wait, is there two jet engines in each engine? I think there's three. What the heck? Okay, well, that's definitely why. Uh, okay, so that makes sense. I hear something, like, spooling up and down. Maybe we have to activate the APU one. I think we got everything on, though. Um, emergency evacuation. I want to click that. We'll do that later. I don't want to do it, like, now. Um, I think we're good to take off, though. I hope we are. Let's just hope we don't enter a flat spin um, on takeoff here because three and four really don't look like they're running. But here we go. We're going to be full throttling for takeoff. Um, park brakes are off. There we go. All right. We're, we should be going. Here we go. Um, Let's see. Oh, uh-oh. We're starting to lean to the right. Um, I'm trying to turn left. Oh, this nose wheel steering is, like, very aggressive. Okay. And then we're going to do rotate. Here we go. All right. We are in the air. All right. That's pretty easy. I really like these engines, how they made like an actual spinny thing for them. They must use like a velocity. Wait, what? We're already entering it. No, no, no. Don't do that yet. Not yet. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, do your turn. Oh, no. Oh, oh, gosh. Okay, we're not trying to enter the flag firing zone yet. I want to run through a tour before we destroy this thing. Because this thing has actually one of the best interiors ever here. Let me give you like a sneak peek. Like there's like a Rolls Royce ceiling in this thing somewhere. I don't know. It's like the sparkling thing. Yeah, see, like, look at that thing. That's so cool. But um, how do we actually level this out? Um, We need landing gear up. Landing gear up. Uh, It's probably somewhere over here at landing gear landing gear here it is landing gear is going up let's see how this looks this is also a pretty important part here oh um oh uh oh our landing gear broke i think please tell me is that normal i no it's not normal we're pitching upward i have no control hold on um gears going back down then um is that is oh gears not going back down guys we've lost all control um we've lost all control i think we're going down right now hold on start cutting the throttle we don't need to be on full here um we've lost all control the landing gear is breaking um it is completely glitched it's not supposed to be outside it's supposed to be inside of its little bay down there that it's made for we're gonna be nose diving straight to the ground here i think um okay so what we're gonna do is cut the throttle so we don't like completely push ourselves into the ground and then we're gonna do ap oh ap wasn't even on okay um we've lost all hydraulic control we're gonna be restarting hydraulic systems hydraulic systems are being restarted here we go all right, um, can we pitch up now? What in the world, guys? Oh, this is really bad. Okay, reverse thrust is being activated. Here we go. That should help us. Reverse thrust is on. Um, is it on? How do we see it? Um, I don't know. Reverse thrust is on right now. I don't know if it's working. Oh, you have to push it down. Okay, I'm pushing down reverse thrust. Um, oh, this doesn't look promising, guys. This doesn't look promising. Okay, shut down the throttle. Oh, this is really bad. We're gonna dose dive an A380 straight into the ground. Here we go. What will happen? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, um, oh, there it is. Uh, I don't know why, like, the sides are damaged. That didn't even get hit by anything and there we go crashing down completely destroyed this thing okay let's actually fly this thing in the flak zone now all right all engines have been started we are clear for takeoff but before we do we just run through a quick tour this should only take like a minute or two so we have a ton of seating here they actually labeled the seats oh wait uh no they didn't they just copy and pasted them okay never mind um that's pretty cool though and an actual working bathroom we can go and do this is the biggest plane ever i wonder how many people could actually fit in this and if it's like one to one wait what's going on with our engines what the heck it's like super loud back here i don't know what's going on okay so this is the back of the plane we have some flight attendants stuff back here of course and let's go to the second story because this thing does have a second story of course more flight attendant stuff so we have like a first class business bathroom right here i guess that's a thing and then what is this an emergency door uh doesn't wait it doesn't work oh that's an issue okay so this is all like the first class here on the second story um as you can tell we're pretty high above the wing and also none of these doors really work so how are we going to exit this thing if there's an emergency okay this is like super first class right here all right pretty cool um what is this like the super super first class oh yeah this is it here we go all right so over here we have a very nice bar a nice design table this is like the ultimate vip right here if i'm gonna be honest with a nice bar oh yeah looking very nice in this thing and then two of the most expensive first class lounges on the plane i'm pretty sure right there but yeah that's basically the plane um there is a whole lot to it i really like it though so let's actually go ahead and take off here all right clear for takeoff here we go the flak firing zone is directly in front of that mountain right there or behind it i could say so once we go over that we should be off here turn off parking brake there we go all right um oh we're really drifting here full left full left full left oh this is really bad this is really bad we're drifting 
We're drifting. I'm going full left right now. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Um, hopefully this will work out. Oh, oh, this is not going to work out. Oh, oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, engine three is not on. What the heck? Um, We're having issues. Engine three is not on. Engine three, engine three. It's gone on with engine three. Engine three fuel cut off. There we go. Okay. Now it's trying to turn on. Oh, that was really rough. Okay. That's why it's tilting so bad. Oh, we have wing damage. I think we'll be fine. We're just trying to counter the flat spin for now. Um, This thing's really not good with dealing with that. Um, We're losing all hydraulics. What the heck? Oh, green and yellow. There we go. Um, Oh, okay. All right. So now we're we're good that was a little bit um interesting but here we go we're gonna fly straight into the flat firing zone i hope that wing doesn't have anything important on it. i don't think it does it's probably just our fuel tank that has a small leak in it now slightly concerning how much fuel do we even have fuel um where do we even see our fuel i don't know um that's a military base right over there and they're gonna start shooting at us all right here we go flat firing zone challenge dude this thing's lightning gears can't go up or else we'll literally die uh oh um they're starting to shoot oh no it has that glitch where it can't even like hold on what if we turn off two of our engines here so we're gonna turn off engine um one and four hold on i'll have to go in the seat here so one and four will be turned off just because uh the actual explosives can't even be loaded in because oh it's still not working dude oh my gosh this plane really just takes up all the smoke so the issue we're having here is that we can't actually see the explosions because our jet exhaust is like prioritized and it just takes up too much of like that space you know so we can't even see the explosions like what in the world okay um yeah we can't turn off any more engines if i'm gonna be honest here what do we even do i mean we're not gonna be able to see them that's kind of uh a little bit more scary i could say but i have all my settings like maxed out so if we if stormworks could load them it definitely would i don't know what's going on here it's definitely a glitch of some sort a little bit unfortunate but um this flat cannon really sucks it hasn't hit us once yet hold on we're gonna switch it to, um which what are the settings here hold on let's go zoom up here in our chat so we have medium easy hard expert and insanity we're gonna switch it to hard i think we're on medium right hard mode is on let's see how good we can survive this hold on oh i have an idea at night time we can do it so we see the explosions okay I mean, you can kind of see them. Yeah, you can see them like much better. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, here. We'll make it like day and night so we can kind of see them kind of like see our plane too, though. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, that one got really close. Oh gosh. Um, we're having issues. Wait, did they hit an engine? Oh, they did hit us. Oh my gosh. Um, we do have damage. All right, so we're gonna be flying as close as we can to them. And normally they get better aim the closer we do fly to them. So that's what we're gonna do here. I wonder if this thing can fly on one engine. They are required to fly on one engine in real life. Um, I don't know about Stormer. Stormer says very interesting um physics i mean it kind of makes sense though because i don't know how you would fly this plane in a straight line if you had like engine one was the only one on i just don't understand all right here we go the military base is right here I remember doing a whole bunch of bombing runs on this actual runway bombing their little barracks over there. oh we got hit in the passenger bay oh no wait we left the flag firing zone no we didn't we're still in it watch oh so the lower we go that means we will exit it oh we got hit in the cockpit right here wait we've lost a lot of control yes we did oh okay co-pilot is gone non-existent anymore coming in for a dive bombing run oh oh gosh oh gosh okay rotate 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 okay should we try turning off like engine two here wait we're losing control i have no hydraulic control the way they hit something um i don't think an a380 can honestly do this in real life if i'm gonna be honest oh okay we did pull up we're gonna crash to the ocean all passengers remain in your seats if you're not in your seat you're gonna be in one because of the g-forces oh my gosh we're losing hydraulic i think engine two is actually going down right now um engine two engine two this is engine three nope where's engine two just Displays. okay so engine two and three are both at 130 so they should be perfect um it must be a, like a hydraulic issue that's what i'd have to say it's going to be um let's see what's going on in the military oh there's oil uh oh we have an oil leak guys look at all that crap in the water down there that's from us um why wait how much oil do we have in this thing dude i don't know what kind of oil leak we have but that's pretty serious if that's how much the ocean's filling up with oil after we got hit by a flat cannon i'm gonna be honest that's a little bit concerning hold on let's like look into our wings see if there's actual fuel in it um oh i think there is yeah this is definitely where they store the fuel at oh yep there it is okay so we are leaking fuel currently we don't have a master alarm going off i don't know how um there's literally no alarms going off here let's stand up um yeah i just so i don't know what's going on maybe we should get back in our seat oh gosh yeah definitely yeah so we have a small oil spill going on near the military base currently i wonder why i just can't oh uh we got hit in the cockpit we've lost all electrical control um do we have any nope i've lost all control all crew brace for impact all passengers and crew we're going straight to to the ocean dude they got a really good direct hit on us right there here we go going straight into the ocean boo 
boom oh my god oh we hit the bottom jeez that would oh um the oh, the water the water's starting to fill up with oil a lot now oh my gosh so creepy all right well there we go is it waterproof in here definitely not but that thing is at the bottom oh my gosh that looks so creepy look at that it's just like the tail sticking out what in the world that's so weird but all right let's gain some altitude here wait our front landing gear has damage on it you know that doesn't matter that's completely fine um we are entering the flak firing zone and there is a whole bunch of oil actually over there i think it's actually disappearing but like when we crashed last time i did that all right here we go we're into the flak firing zone again let's see if they can actually shoot us down i mean they did last time but like do it again you know all right they are getting really close to like the cockpit where i'm at right now a little bit concerning just because i'm up here you know like the slightly important part of the plane is up at the front and they're shooting at that area um let's see everything's looking good we should do emergency evacuation what would that do emergency evacuation is on oh it opens all the doors okay um i think we're gonna close that yeah wait does it like activate any lights back here yes it does it turns on like all the exit signs okay we're gonna turn that off that is pretty cool though we're gonna activate engine generator so our electric goes full um apu we don't need that on all right so yeah we still can't even load in the explosions because our exhaust like takes up way too much of the smoke physics so i guess no explosions today but you can kind of see like the fireballs you know like the small explosions oh we're diving on them oh they're probably wait what the heck we're like wobbling you guys see that hold on we're losing control um wait is my seat broken guys i think they hit our gyro we should not be like rolling like this you guys see how it like goes fast and then stops what the heck um hold on they definitely just hit our gyro we're having issues right now on our roll oh gosh we're stalling we're stalling okay calm down with that pulling up all right so how are you guys doing down there with all your oil dude i should just light a match and throw it down there that would be like the biggest explosion ever oh that'd be crazy i honestly i feel like their flat cannons would be dropping enough like oh they got a direct hit on the back right there uh oh they fit some of our actual fins here um we still have control i think that's all that matters i think yeah definitely is all that matters oh they got another direct hit right near us all right an emergency door is flying open um i think they hit our bar oh they got a direct hit on our bar oh gosh we got some first class people dead in the bar right now oh lord okay we're gonna be taking evasive maneuvers currently we are in a hundred million dollar jet probably around there honestly this thing looks expensive all right start pulling up here we go we're gonna do a crazy fighter jet maneuver right now oh here we go oh yeah pulling all the g's right now we're gonna be deploying oxygen masks right now i can guarantee some of you guys are passing out all right so still no warnings this thing i don't think this things made for actually giving us warnings i if we oh wait engine fires okay so we do have some warnings um i mean i don't know because we do have an engine fire warning hold on let's test engine two fire suppression does it even work oh it does oh that's really cool okay so it does work a lot of them don't work so that's why i'm kind of like surprised by that so all right i think we're doing good this flak has nothing on us unless i get a direct hit in the front again that's only the concerning part i guess wait a second i forgot i did put like two passengers in the oh my gosh they're so dead i forgot to put the passengers hold on let's go like look in here um we're gonna fly in a straight line there sh they should be like right down here um where are they at wait, where'd they go are they down there somewhere um hello passengers wait is that a body nope um where th where'd they go i don't see anybody wait is that them at the back i think that's a body at the back of the plane that's debbie i think oh lord okay we're gonna go back up here probably fly this thing oh it's really bad it's getting rough out here like launches you around the plane oh okay we did get oh they hit us they hit us in a really important area um we have a uh, very minimal control i can say that we're losing a lot of our instruments here our entire panel fell from the roof okay so what do we do in this situation um we fly directly in the flak firing zone again dude our oil is really dropping over there okay um it's not rolling back over it's not rolling back over go 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 we're gonna hit the mountain oh gosh okay um please oh wait i thought engine four got hit that looked like a fireball that just came out of that thing okay i think we're fine though um we're having some hydraulic issues issues right now let's see where's our like logic at in this thing i feel like it'd be right here oh it is oh this is our like computer room um oh big block of logic right there it is a little bit damaged so not surprising that we have some stuff going wait hold on we're losing control it's pitching me to the right uh oh we should act like we're gonna land at the military base or should we land there should we try landing at the military base i don't know i feel like that's a really bad idea um oh gosh wait we just lost something i feel something okay engine engine two has gotten hit and same with engine three. Oh gosh okay all right we're coming in i I don't know if we're gonna be landing we're just gonna be doing like a little touch and go here so hello oh that's a flat cannon we cannot be landing there oh oh my gosh tail whip oh that was terrible okay look at that we almost just hit our wing on the flat cannon okay we need to be careful with that that was really close these people really don't have that good of ammo okay what's the next setting up hold on let's zoom up here oh gosh okay so next setting up where's it at um we have expert okay we're gonna do expert okay expert is our next mode we're gonna be doing our right, expert is on let's see what this mode is uh oh okay experts on i guess i'm an expert because we oh um i think they got a direct hit it like legs your game when they get a direct hit so you know oh there's 
There's so much damage. Oh, I think they got the direct hit like right there. Definitely. Okay. So we have a couple passengers. First class. So they're really targeting first class. They must have like some hits on those people in there. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah. First class dining completely gone. Um, there's people definitely not alive in that thing, but that's fine. The captain's still alive. That's all that matters. Currently taking evasive maneuvers as the pilot right now. I am skilled for this explosion shock. You can like see the shock waves. Look at those explosions. Um, oh, we got another direct hit. Wait. Um, oh, uh, we're losing control. We're losing control. Oh, we're going straight into the ocean. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, we're, this is going to be really interesting here. Oh my gosh. It's not going. It's not pulling up. Maybe we should turn on engine um, two and three here. Engine two and three are currently being spooled up right now just because like, you know, emergencies. Um, Cannot see if our engines are on fire either because our panels completely like fell off its hinges back there. It's like all the passengers can see it. That's not really useful to me, but all right. Oh, this thing's still flying. This thing's a beast. Look at all the damage in like our engines. Dude, there must be like a whole bunch of stuff all sucked up into our engines right now. This is not good, but um, engines are not. Wait, hold on. Um, Why is engine? I feel like engine one's failing right now now okay so engines two and three are trying to spool up but it's not working hold on what's going on engine two and three on the panel it should be that panel like right there um it's not doesn't look that good. oh we got hit in the back i think uh oh all right we're gonna be doing an evasive dive on them right now we're gonna show them what's up all right here we go we're gonna be diving on them this is the easiest mode ever they're not gonna destroy this thing clearly Oh my gosh, wait, what if we turned it on like the super hard mode? Oh, I don't know if we can do that yet because we're like about to dive into the ground. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is switch it to the super hard mode. What is it called? Like insanity, I think it is. Um, Let's go up here. Yeah, so insanity. So we're gonna type that in. Insanity is being activated right now. Insanity is on. Let's see how good this does. Oh gosh, see, these are really big explosions. I can say that. Um, If they get a direct hit, I feel like we're gonna completely disappear. So we're gonna see. Um, I really wish these explosions would load. I can say if we turned off our engines, they would load it but um clearly they're not oh gosh those are so big explosions look at all that oh, oh yep there it is our car is gone actually our plane oh now the explosions load in because it's gone look at those explosions that is actually insane that is nowhere near the size of the actual explosions in real life for flak but that is super cool imagine doing like a submarine hunt in um this oil filled water that'd be such a cool video to do because you like wouldn't know where they were at oh gosh that'd be super creepy okay well let me know if you'd like to see that but that's probably gonna be it for this flak video let me know if we should do some more of these of course and let me know what plane we should do because there's a whole bunch of planes actually in real life built into this game so let me know which one but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye